estimating sums. How are you, Neha? Hello, Tina. I'm fine. What did you learn in your classroom today? Today, my teacher told me how to estimate sum. Tina, can you please explain me about estimating sums? Why not, Neha? It's very easy. You know that estimation is a number close to a number. You know how to round off a number nearest to 10? For estimating the sum of given numbers, we round off the given numbers and then find their sum. Let us see some examples. Okay, Tina. Now I'm clear. Today, in the classroom, teacher also told me some word problems based on addition. But I have some difficulty to identify them. Please help me, Tina. Do not worry, Neha. Addition word problems are very easy to solve. You can look for the following terms to identify the addition word problems. Total, in all, all together, add, sum, and more. Let us take some examples to get the concept more clearly. There are 2,576 boys and 1,894 girls studying in a school. What is the total number of pupils in the school? Neha, you can see in this example, we have to add 2,576 boys and 1,894 girls. Because here they are asking total number of pupils in the school. So, we find the total number of the pupils are 4,470. Neha, now you try this problem. Okay. A school library had 2,698 books. The school bought 578 more books. How many books the library has now? Okay, Tina. Here we have 2,698 books and according to the statement, the school bought 578 more books. So, clearly we have to add 2,698 and 578. So, we find total number of books in the library are 3,276. Very good, Neha. You have understood it very well.